Hi, I'm Addie. And I'm Amanda. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Team Press here with... Wyland. One name. See? Kind of cool. Yeah, nice to meet you, Wyland. Nice to meet you, ladies. Hi, nice you look nice. You. So you're ready for the film festival? Yeah. And I heard you talk to Ernie Brooks already. Ernie Brooks, one of the greatest living legends of uh, photography and uh, mm -hmm. love Ernie Brooks. He's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. So what brings you to the Santa Barbara Underwater Film Festival? Ernie Brooks. Ernie yes, Brooks. we were roommates uh, diving together in Antarctica for a month. He was my roommate. Cool. So I got to watch him work. Uh, his images are iconic. So uh, And he's got a big heart. So we love Ernie Brooks, and this is a tribute to him and a lot of great people here tonight. I mean, Stan Waterman's here and everybody else. So I'm here. There you go. What is one of your favorite um, images by Ernie Brooks? Uh, I, I like that shot of the, the blue shark that he, that he shot. You know, in nature, less is more. And black and white really reveals. But the way that he, uh, the way that he looks at uh, the undersea world, man, it's just... He's like the Ansel Adams, and everybody says this, of the undersea world, and uh, he's one of my heroes of photography, and one of the most generous um, supporters of conservation and, and non-profit groups like the Wyland Foundation. Ernie's a big giver, always has been. What is one of your first underwater memories? Well, you know, Jacques Cousteau was my hero, and uh, will always be my hero, and uh, and today it's uh, Dr. Sylvia Earle, you know, uh, her deepness. So um, anyway, I'm a diver. I've been diving for over 30 years. Uh, a few years ago I got inducted into the International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame. That was a great honor with Jacques Cousteau. So wow, you know, put your dreams out there and uh, just work hard, be smart, and uh, just follow your dream and don't ever give up on what you want to do. I always wanted to be an artist, but I want to use my art to bring the conservation message. Big, too. Congratulations. Yeah. And here is Leslie Leaney from the Historic Diving Society. I have one question. Yes, sir. Yes. How many years have you been diving, including when you started snorkeling? I think 30. Yeah, Thank 30 you. years. Thank you. Yes, sir. And I love diving with you. Leslie Leaney, another icon, really, one of the co the co-founder of the uh, um, the uh, historic uh, diving society. Everybody's here tonight for Ernie. Everybody. So, if you could take us to one place in the world to go underwater, where would you take us? You know, <clears throat> there's beauty everywhere you you look. I mean, Santa Barbara. Look at these islands out here. Some of the diving here is some of the most pristine in the world. And in fact, a lot of Ernie's images were shot right here. You know, this is your backyard. I live in Southern California, Laguna Beach, but I also live in Hawaii and the Florida Keys. But I don't know, Antarctica was good. Uh, I don't know, I've never had a bad dive. Maybe Boston Harbor. But all my diving has been spectacular. And when I'm diving, I'm actually painting the images that I see when I'm diving in the ocean. And, and a lot of times, I, you know, swimming with, with blue whales, I take that image in my mind's eye and then when I paint a giant mural of whales, I can remember what I saw when I was diving. Super cool. So if you could paint any mural on the wall of my room, what would you paint? Oh, on your room? Uh, what am I into? I like sharks right now. You know, sharks are critical to the health of the ocean. And that's why it's important for artists like me and Ernie Brooks, David Dubelais here, my, another legend of underwater photography. Anyway. Whatever the issue is, I think artists uh, can contribute. And if we have to paint your room, then, then so be it. When do we start? You're going to help, right? So it's estimated that more than a billion people see your work every year. Mm -hmm. Where is a place that you still want to put up um, a mural in the world? Well, I did my last one in China, in Beijing. It took me 27 years, but I painted 100 of the Wailing Walls. Yeah, I said I would paint 100. I probably should have t said 10. But I said I would paint a hundred, so I, I did. I always do what I say. So I painted a hundred walls in um, countries all around the world. And my proudest thing that I do is I paint with young people like you. And whenever I'm painting a mural, I invite the kids of the community to come and paint with me. 
and I've painted with kids in all 50 states around America and, and 50 countries around the world. Over a million kids and I have painted together, and it's all about conservation, you know, using art to bring that message that if people see the beauty in nature, they'll work to preserve it. And kids are the best artists by far. And by the way, for all you artists watching this, it's the best time in history to be an artist, a photographer, a filmmaker, right? So go for it, man. We need more artists. Art is good. So, Louis um, Sahoyas, director of The Cove, says, Films are weapons of mass construction. How do you think films can help preserve the waters of Earth? Well, you know, films and art may be the only thing they can. You know, again, you're putting that image out there, and a picture's worth a thousand words. So, in, in, in an image, people can see, you know, you know, the beauty of nature revealed in a way that nothing else can. Maybe diving, maybe swimming with a, a great whale or a shark or, a, you know, a giant manta ray. So we need more divers. We need you guys diving. And then when you see the beauty of nature, you know, you're going to have that in your heart and your mind and you're going to become an ambassador for the planet. And that's what I hope. I hope that you know, our, our younger people like yourself become ambassadors because we truly need you guys to now take action to ensure that we have a healthy world. You know, and it's all about water, too. Water is life. We've got to protect our water planet. If you would have us watch one film or see one piece of art about water, what would it be? Well, there's a lot of good films out there. I made one called Blues Planet Sounds and Dr. Sylvia Earle. Uh, narrates it and it's uh, some music that I wrote about the planet's got the blues and the music drives the conservation message and it actually uh, world premiered at the Newport Film Festival and then it won the Ocean Film Festival so I'm making three documentaries about the state of our our water planet today so I hope you guys will check that out it's called Blues Planet and um, it's it's three films actually hopefully I'll come back to Santa Barbara and feature one of my films here that would be cool yeah. And finally, our school theme this year is the power of story. What's your verse? What do you hope your verse is in the story of water on earth? What well, a story of water is that water connects all the people in all the countries of the world. And water is life. Without water, we don't have plants, we don't have animals, we don't have us. If you want to protect the ocean too, you got to think about all the water. You got to think about the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the ponds, and wetlands. What we now know is we only have one ocean, one ocean, and everything we do on land impacts the quality of that ocean. We need to protect more of the heart of the planet, which is our ocean, more of the rivers, which are, you know, the arteries. We just need to take care of, uh, you know, our entire planet. It's small, believe me. I've been around it a few times. And uh, we can do this, you know, what Dr. Sylvia Earle says is what we do in the next 10 years will impact the next 10,000. So you're the generation that can really um, create a sea change, an environmental renaissance. This is a great time to be alive because you can change the world and you guys are doing it right here. So thank you. Well, thank you so much cool. for your time. All right, artist girl too. I like that. All right, you guys, good job. <laughs> art on behalf of something bigger. You can use what you have on behalf of something bigger. It's whatever it is that you're passionate about because that what that makes it fun and then you're not going to burn out. You can be a world changer for the rest of your life and you can have a good time doing it.